Our director of scouting, Craig Button, joins us to focus on the Winnipeg Jets draft, recent past, and also imminent future. We're fewer than three weeks away from the upcoming NHL draft, Craig. So what do the Jets have in the cupboard? You've developed a top 10 list. How good does this group look, and what grade would you give it? I give them a B, and when we look at their prospect cupboard and what's on the shelves, defensemen are needed in the Winnipeg Jets system after the departure of their four veteran players last season. And no better player, Dylan Sandberg. They're ready to play Dylan Sandberg, two-time NCAA champion with the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. Then at number three, David Gustafson, a really good competitive rangy centerman. He played games for the Jets last year. At number four, Declan Chisholm. There's only one reason he was a middle round draft pick. It was because he was injured. But it's going to turn out to be a terrific pick because he's smart and he provides offense. And let's go right to the top of that list. Billy Hainola, another defenseman and who also played games for the Winnipeg Jets last season. Outstanding hockey sense. He understands what the challenges are in every single area of the game, offensively, defensively, with and without the puck, and he provides answers. And when you have gifted forwards like the Winnipeg Jets do, it's important to get them the puck. It's exactly what Hainola provides. He's ready to play for the Winnipeg Jets next season as well. And selecting Hainola 20th overall last year, it continued to trend for Winnipeg, or some might start calling it Finnipeg, because take a look at this. The Jets, with their top pick, have selected a player from Finland in three of the last four drafts. Patrick Lyon in 2016, Christian Veselainen in 2017, and Hainola in 2019. The Jets selected Swede David Gustafsson as well in 2018, so you can call it a Nordic sweep, but let's look ahead to this year's draft. The Jets own a total of just four Four picks, but they do have a selection in the first round and the second round. Craig, you think they could use a defenseman with size, but more importantly, probably a a top two center. So we've narrowed down four centermen who we think will be available at the number 10 selection where Winnipeg is picking. And we also asked the fans at home to vote who they think the Jets should select. And they have went with Seth Jarvis, the center from Portland. Craig, are you agreeing with the fans' choice for the fourth day in a row? I am agreeing with the fans' choice, and it's always a positive to be on the fans' side. Seth Jarvis is an excellent offensive player. He can play in so many different areas of the game. He's a playmaker, but he's also a deceptive goal scorer. And people may say, what about his size? Who cares? His comparable is Braden Point. And when you think about Mark Scheifele, the superstar in Winnipeg, what a one-two punch that could be with the local Seth Jarvis joining Scheifele. He is exactly what the doctor could order for the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, and if the Jets do select Jarvis, it'll be the first time in the last four drafts that they take a player from the Canadian Hockey League Yeah, in the first four rounds. All right, on Friday, we'll continue our draft primers with a look at the Calgary Flames.